Hi guys, welcome back to designing test automation framework from scratch. So as a part of this discussion, today's discussion we are going to look at the agenda that needs to be covered as a part of integrating the unit testing framework that is TestNG into our automation framework. So at a high level we are going to cover the topics that are going to be covered as a part of this particular discussion is as follows. You can see uh, it was like first we are going to cover some introduction to TestNG and why it is used in the CDM or any automation project and what are the various features that are available as a part of TestNG and why we are going for TestNG especially rather than JUnit or some other unit testing framework. And then we will be looking at the uses of TestNG automation and then next we will be going back to configuring TestNG plugin in the Eclipse and then we will fall back to creating a simple MAML project and configuring the TestNG XML file and then integrating with uh, this thing into build.xml file. So we look at how we are going to call the tests that are configured in the test engine, uh, the test source that is the test engine.xml in the build.xml from build.xml. I mean the build file that is the form.xml. The source file plugin will pick up the configured file that is the test engine.xml file to execute the test available in the particular test engine.xml file that is a source file. And then we will fall back to creating a simple test class and look at how to put sessions and all those things and then uh, we'll fall back to understanding what testng.xml file contains and how to design this file based on its grouping, how to exclude some uh, tests, how to include some tests, how to call the entire test suite, I mean using the package, using the class, etc. And then we'll fall back to testng annotation discussion so once test engine annotation discussion is completed, that is we look at what is the sequence of execution of the test engine annotations and what is the basic use of each and every annotation. And then we'll be looking at how to group, how to prioritize, how to create dependent tests, and how to execute them. And we'll be verifying how this execution takes place. And also we'll be looking at how to run the test in parallel. And followed by that, we are going to see the data uh, that is the data provider annotation how to data drive the test using data power annotation so before this we are going to cover apache poi api and using apache poi api we will see how to call the test data from the excel sheet and then utilize it into data provider using the data provider how to drive the test using that particular method which is going to call the data from the Excel sheet or any other thing like a JSON file, etc. So basically, we will be looking at uh, how to apply the test data from the Excel sheet for driving our tests. And post that, we are going to look at the test engine assessments discussion, what are the various assessments that are available, and which assessment we are going to apply the most. And we'll look at a simple example and how to apply the test engine assessments as a part of this discussion. And followed by that, we will see how to do the reporting and customization, that is a customized locking using the listeners. That, uh, we are going to look at basically the test engine listeners and how to customize those listeners for reporting and logging purpose. So this is the high level agenda that we are going to cover up. So if we see in detail, this is how it is. So first basically we will be uh, looking at what are the types of tests that are available, like the integration tests, unit tests, and then the functional test for the end to end test. And then we are going to give a brief introduction to TestNG and where we are going to, why we are going to use TestNG in Selenium and followed by the features of TestNG and configuring and integrating TestNG uh, with the supported tools like Maven, etc. And we'll see how to integrate TestNG in Eclipse, I mean the TestNG plugin into Eclipse. And then there is what the component that is supported tool is like Maven. So we'll be seeing how to integrate test engine maven and then after that we'll see the steps to create a simple test engine test and following that we are going to look at the overview of the test engine xml file that is a suit file which is used to configure all the tests and what are the supported tags that are available by the part of uh, the suit.xml or the test engine.xml file and then we'll as a part of the subdivision we are going to see how to configure tests to be executed from test engine.xml file 
and then configuring the parameters, configuring groups, configuring uh, the dependencies, inclusion, exclusion of uh, certain tests, and configuring the listeners in the testng.xml file. And post that discussion, we are going to see the testng annotations and the order of execution or the sequence of execution of this annotation. Post that we will be configuring the test using testng.xml file. And then we are going to use the data testing that is using the data provider annotation and the Apache Core API. And then after that, we are going to look at the testing assessments as we discussed. We are going to see the basic assessments that are available as a part of testing and how to utilize them for uh, driving our unit tests. We'll see how our assessments, how to put these assessments on the particular tests and execute and we'll be refining how this assessment will be reporting. And then followed by that, we'll be looking at the logging and reporting mechanism. So this is basically what we are going to cover in a brief view. So thanks, guys. This is the agenda that we are going to be covering up as a part of testing in a testing framework. In a testing framework. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.